Hi, and welcome to my office. Just like anybody's office, it has a computer and it has its books and its files and its telephone. But something that's really special for me in my office are these crosses. I've been collecting crosses for the last 20 years. Crosses that represent the places where I have traveled and where I have served on behalf of Canadian Baptist Ministries. The crosses that I found in each of these different countries represent the people, their living faith in Christ, represents what's important to them, and it represents something about the expression of their culture in that place. A cross that I bought in Haiti with the Lamb of God. A cross that I bought in Hungary, the cloth in which Christ was wrapped. Coptic crosses and Huguenot crosses and beautiful crosses that tell a story from El Salvador. Each cross tells its own story and it reminds me of the partners that we work with around the world. One of the really special crosses for me is this one right here, the Suffering Christ. I bought this cross in a market in Goma in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. While I was visiting Dr. Molo, who's the head of our partnership, he took me to visit a camp with 30,000 internally displaced people. The camp is called Mugunga. It's a very dark and sad place to see. 30,000 people living in temporary housing some of them in their second and third generation. As we drove around this vast camp, he would stop at a certain intersection or a certain locale and he would say, oh, this is where an international relief organization had a feeding program. It was a really effective program, but they've pulled out. At another place in the camp, he would point where another agency was serving and they had a hygiene program or another that had a school. And each of those sentences would end with those sad words, but they had to leave. And then we pulled into an open area where hundreds of people were gathered under a tin roof, no walls, and they were singing. And he said, Terry, this is where our local Baptist church is. We don't get to leave. I'm reminded in those words from Dr. Molo that the church is present in the places of brokenness and suffering as we minister on Christ's behalf, as we help heal a broken world through word and deed. I look forward to sharing more with you about a global God and a global church and its impact on our churches in Canada. Please feel free to comment below, ask your questions, share your feedback. Secondly, subscribe to this channel. We have a lot more we wanna to unpack together and share the link. I look forward to other people sharing in this conversation and dialoguing with us together. We are on a mission together. Thank you and God bless.